watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in And Gidaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, swear unto them and to their men, saying, Fear not to serve the Chaldeans, dwell in the land, and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. Fear not is our challenge for you today as we continue on facing this pandemic called COVID virus disease and its variant, Delta and Lambda. We, from God's Word for you today, encourages you to heed this challenge, fear not. In this series, Jeremiah is giving us the words, the encouragement from the leader to the people of Israel who experienced the attack of the Babylonians. This is now the time the final siege of the Babylonians to the people of Judah. As we all know in the Bible, that God disciplined Israel in three ways. First, in 606 BC, the first deportation in the kingdom of Judah happened where Daniel and his three friends were taken to captive. Ten years later, 596 BC, the second deportation happened and Ezekiel and other Jewish people from Judah were taken captive. And Jeremiah, from the first deportation up to the third deportation, the final deportation in 586 BC, keeps on preaching and challenging the people that God will judge them. But the people of Judah did not learn the experience 20 years past, 606, 596, and because they keep on uh, rebelling against the will of God, Nebuchadnezzar being the captain, Nebuzar Adan, being the king of Babylon, finally took captive the children of Israel. Nga kon ang description pa, walay gibilin nga nagatindog ng edifisyo sa lugar sang Huda. It was total wreck of the city and the place, including Solomon's temple. Nga kon aton usunyon, that was laden with gold and yet Ginsunog ina sa mga Babylonians kagindala dito sa Babylon 586 BC. And all the messages of Jeremiah challenging the people really come to pass. And the remnant in Judah at this time was encouraged by Gedaliah being the leader, the governor set by the Babylonians that was left in Judah. Kabalo ka mo sinong ginbilin ang mga masakiton, kag mga imol, the rest nga mapuslan, gintay captive. Jeremiah was left in Judah as God used Nebuzar Adan to know the messages of Jeremiah. The reason why if you read Jeremiah chapter 40, we have there Nebuzar Adan encourages Jeremiah that his words come to pass. And here comes now Gidalaya challenging the remnant. Anong challenge niya diri? Siling sang Bible, verse number 9 of chapter 40, Gidalaya the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, swear unto them and to their men, saying, Fear not, hindi ka mo magkahadlok while they are taken captive by the enemy. But here comes their true-blooded brother being the puppet leader of the Babylonians encouraging the remnant to fear not. Kag anong himuo nila nga hindi sila magkahadlok while siling ni Gidalaya fear not 
to serve the Chaldeans. Mga lagad, alagaran natun sila. We know we lost the battle. They are now the suzerain. We are now the vassal. We'll have to obey them as we are under their leadership. So, gin-encourage niya ni Gidalaya ang mga katauhan to fear not. Gani, in this episode, I encourage you three things concerning fear not when Gedaliah encourages the children of Israel remaining in the land of Judah where no house, where no place to dwell. And yet, Gedaliah encourages them to do something for their suzerain, for the winning country that defeats them. What are these encouragements of fear not na ginambal sa verse? Number one, fear not. An encouragement to teach submission. Ano ng ambal ni Gidalaya? Fear not to serve the Chaldeans. Before you think you are very special, you think that God will not punish you, that God will not discipline you, this is the time where we are going to reap the punishment we are supposedly received. We received before end. Pero ginbugayan kita. But this time, we saw it in our very eyes. We are disciplined by God. So, Gedaliah encourages the children of Israel, let us serve the Chaldeans. Meaning, this is an encouragement to submit their will to the will of the one that conquers them. So, mga kauturan, this is the time where the children of Israel's pride was given to the limit. And then they were taught to submit their pride because they lost the battle. Are there times in our lives that God is teaching us to submit to His will because we are too proud of ourselves, we are too convenient of what we are having? Basikon ining pandemic, mga kauturan, ginagamit sa Diyos so that He will teach us submission. Learn from the people of Israel. Second, fear not. Not only an encouragement to teach submission, but there is also the second thing, an encouragement that results to their safety. Gidalaya said, fear not and to serve the Galileans because in that manner we dwell in the land. We continue to dwell. Ang meaning sina, we will be safe in our place right now. We might have no home to sleep, but at least if we serve the Chaldeans, we submit to the rulership, it might be that they will bless us with shelters or whatever it is. They will be able to dwell in the land. That is an encouragement that results to their safety. And it will come to the third point of our study in the verse. Fear not, he said, you will dwell, dwell in the land and then serve. So connected just to serve the Chaldeans and then serve the king of Babylon. Because the king of Babylon will be ultimately your king. But it, it said in the last phrase, it shall be well with thee. Fear not, submit. Fear not, it results to their safety. But third thing we can see here, fear not is an encouragement that will do good to us if obeyed. Same is true with the children of Israel. They, they fear not to listen to the words of the king of Babylon. It will bring them good. But if they disobeyed, it will bring them evil. So the same challenge I am going to give you this moment in time. As we are facing this pandemic, fear not, serve God alone. Fear not, increase your faith. Because this is the only way to lessen our fear in this life. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, fear not. For this is God's word for you today.